It's enormous. Three years of production. It's a huge budget with major goals. It's going to be a turning point in the video game industry. In the early stages, someone was in charge of sketching out the characters on paper. I know that for Marion, for example, I had a lot of fun adding them up. I made almost 200 roughs. And it's true, in the end, I was so familiar with them all, I was saying to myself, he's my child. Once the character research was over, the drawings were scanned. And once that was done, the modeling artist used them to create a 3D polygonal model. In the beginning, I used splines to follow the artist's lines. Then I use a technique that allows me to build polygons following the splines. And finally, when the modeling and the skeleton are done, we can start working on texture mapping. An important factor in the final result is animation. That's what gives this realistic aspect to the characters in the game. Now I'm dressing up for motion capture. I'm placing sensors on my body. The sensors are detected by the computer, which will translate my movements to on-screen animation. I'm really lending my muscles to Cutter. Motion capture is an important part of Outcast. It represents a total of 20 hours. I don't mean capture time, but animation time in the game. When you're in the virtual world of Artcast, you get to meet characters with real depth. Artificial intelligence allows a codification of reactions, of emotions according to given situations. That's what brings interactivity to the game. In order to fulfill your mission, you're going to have to meet people, to fight with them, you're going to have to be afraid, to laugh, you'll have to tell jokes. But in the end, you'll find the purpose of your quest. And in fact, a video game really is a virtual quest.